I swear, Auburn. If anything happens to my Chimeco, you'll pay. Oh, looks like an encrypted call set from outside the city. It's heading to... The head of the USURP. <laughs> How fun. This shouldn't be too much encryption to crack. So anyway, thanks again for the date. Uh, I'd love to meet up again sometime. I wish you the best. Best! Uh, best! I wish you the best! Wrong codec. And... Aha! Here we are. You're going to tell me everything about this secret project of yours. Arceus. You've become even more insane than Cyrus. I should have beaten you out of Rainbow Rocket when I had the chance. Don't you compare me to that emo bidoof. Now, tell me what it is you're up to. I know you've been trying to find and stop me, and I know about that corrupted Zygarde that barreled out of the city. I see everything in the red mist. Corrupt. Don't you play dumb, either. Oh. Oh. Mm, fine. I know men of your type. You truly would die before revealing your hand, for free anyway. Oh, you've grown so frail. I can't put you through much more of this, can I? So how about a trade of information for old times' sake? You like those, don't you? And I happen to really like me, a classic villain's monologue. So tell you what, do you even know what it is you're up against? I'm not the same man I was 80 years ago when I was stopped by some measly children. I'm sure you relate to that. Oh no. I am so much more, and I've barely aged a day. But still self-absorbed, I see. Do you remember the Unova Blast that took out half the region just a year before what you call the Cataclysm? Yes, and I figured it was your doing. Oh no, not mine, at least not directly. It was a side effect of a new machine built by my top scientist. I'm sure you're aware of the energy that allows Pokémon to use moves, evolve, and rapidly change form, or even siphon that energy from others, or merge. Sure. Yes, I'm glad you remember. We made history with that one. And it turns out even humans have this infinity energy flowing through them. All life forms do. Pokémon are just equipped to tap into it naturally. So, my scientist Colrez thought, perhaps a machine could allow humans to draw out their hidden strength as well. After all, scans indicated that humans actually have more of this energy than most Pokémon. So why not? Well, to skip to the interesting bit, the machine was built and we were ready for the first test. But as a safety measure, a second human needed to act as a catalyst. And in wanting to keep this project as secret as possible, we activated the machine on ourselves. But what happened was... Pleasantly unexpected, and just like Cure am absorbing Zekrom, I absorbed Colress. So, to put it simply, I am not the same Getz as you knew. You're dealing with all of the intelligence of the world's top Pokémon scientist, and all of the will and ambition of myself. <laughs> And what of the blast? Oh right, I almost forgot. A mere side effect. Merging that much energy into one space is bound to trigger a chain reaction and split some atoms. Unova was a beautiful region, but it was a worthy sacrifice. All the curious Colres part of me could think of then was if two humans could merge their power in this way. What's to stop a human from merging with an all-powerful Pokémon? Like the Burst Masters. Oh yes, I'm glad you remember. None of the parallel worlds we traveled together were as inspiring as that one. A shame we lost our ability to travel between them. I'd have simply gone back and taken a Burst Heart. But even then, they were not truly one and the same. Their power could not compare to where I am as now. 
But no matter, all I had to do was track down the perfect Pokémon, one that would grant me all the power I needed to achieve my goals of ultimate power and immortality. The legendary Pokémon of Sinnoh proved too elusive at the time, but I eventually tracked down the Pokémon of life itself. Xerneas. Yes. And the poor thing was far too easy to take down, even though the amount of energy it stored was immeasurable. At this point, it had simply given up on humanity and put up no fight at all. What I didn't expect, though, was the size of the chain reaction this time around. Of course, the initial blast was bigger, but Kalos is filled with unique crystals, key and mega stones that allow Pokémon and trainers to tap into some hidden power of their own. Infinity Energy Incarnate, and each and every one of these stones caused a whole new blast of their own, and their particulates became the Red Mist. So, what wasn't destroyed by the slow burn of a continental explosion would be destroyed by the rabid and enraged Pokémon who survived and inhaled the mist, which carried on through the entire atmosphere. And how do you feel about causing the cataclysm? Do I sense a tinge of regret? Preposterous. That's the other side of me. I have no time for feelings like that. I've inadvertently killed billions, but I do it again. I don't expect you to understand what it's like being this all-powerful, but it is worth every sacrifice. I've become a demigod, Giovanni, equivalent to the great legendary Pokémon, and I won't stop until I reach the power of the ultimate mythical Pokémon. And what then? What use is divine power without others to rule over? I'll simply create the others. Don't you get it? I'll transcend. I'll be mightier than the original creators of this world and all other worlds. I'll shape reality itself to my every whim. If I can absorb the power of the Pokémon of life itself, what's to stop me from absorbing the Pokémon of creation? I've already set my machine up atop Spear Pillar, and it's nearly finished charging ready to absorb an entire pocket dimension. And I can't allow you to ruin my plans with whatever it is you're doing with that Zygarde. I see. Some demigod begging a dying man to tell you some secrets. And you believe that in telling me all this self-exposition that I'll now tell you my plans? No, oh, at first yes. But now there's no need, really, thanks to a certain peeping Tom boy. <laughs> I made further connections through their de-encryptors and downloaded everything I needed to know from your servers while monologuing, and I just finished up. So now I'll be fully prepared for whatever it is you're cooking up. Very typical of you. The only thing you could stall with was talking about yourself. Hmm. Well then, one last thing, I suppose. For old time's sake, sayonara, boss. <laughs> The future of mattresses is now. This video is sponsored by Helix Sleep and their all new high-end collection of Helix Elite mattresses. But what makes them so elite, huh? Why, the materials and technology, of course. Helix used their years of extensive mattress research and expertise to create the ultimate sleep experience. Each Elite mattress features dual microcoil layers, targeted pressure relief, best-in-class support, and glorious build quality. Even the Sleep Foundation calls them the best luxury mattresses of the year. The best of the best, but Helix offers great custom mattresses designed to fit the needs and budgets of anyone. And by taking their quick and easy online sleep quiz, they can match you and a partner to the perfect mattress. My wife and I got the Helix Midnight Lux like six years ago, and it's held up great and is still the best mattress we've ever owned. It's got that nice balanced feel for my back sleeping and her side sleeping and Sasha's being a cat sleeping. And the cooling cover is so nice it helps dissipate excess heat away from underneath us. Oh, it's glorious. 
mattress, and I quite appreciate that. Helix, they get it. Ordering a mattress online is a bit anxiety inducing. How will you know you actually like it if you can't try it first? Well, thankfully, they take the stress away by giving you a 100 night sleep trial to make sure you love it, and there's a 10 year warranty. And all their mattresses get especially sweet when you get a deal on them. I mean, two free pillows and 20% off when you use my link at the top of the description, helixsleep.com slash Loxton. Praise Helix! And hey, definitely keep an eye on their site this month. They are offering special secret flash sale deals all throughout October, making now a great time to upgrade your sleep, one of the most important things to invest in. And speaking of sleeping a lot, I think it's time we checked in on Auburn. <laughs> You're probably the richest Pokemon on Earth right now. Uh, you look an awful lot like a Mega Charizard, only hurt. Mega Evolution does that, but... Oh, do, do you want me to follow? Okay. Despite a full scan, it, I can tell that it has a lot of pent-up energy, but there's no type associated with it. It's just energy. And the biological age estimate is over a century. Charizards don't normally live that long, though I guess they're also supposed to be extinct. Snug! Oh, Snagooey, I'm glad to see you're okay. Snow? Zim too. Zimp. I'll, I'll just get you back in your ball. So, Charizard, are you keeping all these Pokemon safe? There's no red mist in here. Hmm? Oh. Looks like someone. Was that your. Uh, oh! D Drill! I'm awake now, come on! Boy? What? Drill! You've evolved without me? <laughs> Alright! Huh. I guess the energy in here is so abundant that some Pokemon are just. Evolving. Ow, what was that? Ah! Ch Chimeco, you too? Uh, your sound is loud now. Okay, okay, maybe don't do that inside a cave. What? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, okay, what? Right. Hmm, they never did find you, huh, Gramps? Is this what you wanted? You're really tired, huh? Well, you've certainly earned a rest. Hmm. All right, well, let's go. My air filter's almost run out. We'll, we'll, we'll grab a few Mega Stones too, but not too many. I think that might be what's keeping this cave safe. Oh. Oh, there you are! Stay put, I'm heading to your location. Oh, I can't. 
can't wait. As I said, I would find him in no time. You found him? What a relief. Make sure he's in good health and bring him back immediately. Tell him no more personal expeditions for the foreseeable future. I'm here and can hear you. Good. Then I don't need to repeat myself. Auburn, what have you been doing? It's been days since we lost your signal. It's a long story. I'm expecting a full report once you've returned. Right. Once again, I have saved the day, and it's about time you... Whoa! Uh, 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 Charizard, stop! This is a fr acquaintance of mine. We're safe. Okay. A friend? You know, a, a good friend. Uh, but we don't hurt friends. <laughs> a mighty strong Pokemon you've got there now. But, you know, you can just admit that you've got a crush on me. Everyone does. Uh, well, let's get back to base. Righto! I'll get you there faster than anyone. A lot has happened since we lost your signal, actually. It turns out that the leader of the USURP just kicked the bucket. And with that, mm. a whole Is this really Red's old Charizard? What was that thing? Mm. More questions than answers. And get this, this is really the worst thing you missed. Glamyard is no longer carrying my skin cream. Apparently it's discontinued due to supply optimization issues and needing to use the factories to make antibiotics. Blah, curse them all! I've got to make my own cream now. 